Let's look at an example to understand what the composition of relations is. In this diagram, we have two relations, a relation R from a set A to a set B, and a relation S from the set B to the set C. Here are those two relations written out precisely as sets. For example, we can see under the relation R, one is related to T. Given this arrow, that shouldn't be surprising. In the relation S, for example, we see that S relates to beta, which is indicated by this arrow here. S is also related to alpha, and in the relation R, we can see that 1 is also related to lowercase r. So hopefully the diagram and the set notation are both clear. What would happen if we composed these relations? What would it mean to compose the relation R with the relation S? It works out probably just how you expect. Under the composite relation, for example, 3 relates to gamma. Because the relation R relates 3 to Q, and then S relates Q to gamma. So in total, under the composition, 3 is related to gamma. In plain language, the elements relate from A to C if there's a connection between them, given these two relations. Here is the entire composite relation written out. You can see how I've notated the composition. We'll talk about notation in a second. But just for another example, you can see that 4 is related to alpha and 4 is related to beta, because 4 is related to S, but then S is related to both alpha and to beta. 1 is related to R, but R isn't related to anything in C. So 1 only appears in the composition once, given that 1 relates to T, and then T relates to gamma. So that's the only time that 1 appears in the composite relation. Now let's take a quick look at the general definition of a composition of relations. You can see how an ordered pair XZ is in the composition of relations if there's some middle element connecting x and z. You probably notice the notation I'm using here is the same as what's used for function composition. Because of that, sometimes a different notation is used since this is a composition of relations, not functions. This semicolon notation is one such option. You may also recall that with function composition, the second function is typically applied first. The order is from right to left. There doesn't seem to be an agreed upon standard for the composition of relations. In this case, I'm going opposite the way that it's done for function composition. I'm going left to right. The relation R relates X to Y, but then S relates Y to Z. And so in total, the composition relates X to to Z. This is a left to right direction. Just be wary, you might also see a composition of relations following the typical order for function composition, which is right to left. And that's a quick overview of what a composition of relations is. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and thank you very much for watching.